In this video, I will show you how to run language models that are almost as good as ChatGPT on your local computer. And for this, I will first show you the Llama model, which is a foundational language model and is able to predict subsequent words for a given input sequence or a given input sentence. And on top of that, I will also show you the Alpaca model, which is a fine-tuned version of the Llama model and is able to follow instructions. And that is a behavior that we already know from ChatGPT. So more or less, we can run our own ChatGPT on our local computer. Isn't that cool? And I will show you today how to do it. But before we start with setting up the Llama model, let's first have a quick understanding what the Llama model actually is and why it's so cool. And for this, the first thing that I think is important to know is that a language model or the Llama model is called a foundational language model. And to understand what that means, it's a model that predicts the probability distributions over sequences of words, tokens, and characters. And what that actually means is that it does the next token prediction. So basically the Llama model predicts the most reasonable word given a sequence of input words. But what does this model make special? And for this, let's look at the abstract of the paper, which already reveals it a little bit, that the Llama model with 13 billion parameters outperforms the GPT-3 model, which has 175 billion parameters. So we can see the Llama model actually contains way less parameters and is able to outperform the GPT-3 model on most benchmarks, which is very impressive. And also another fact, it is open, which is partially true. So it's open for research. You can request uh, to get the model weights from meter. But this is also partially true because somebody already leaked the weights of the model and, and you can follow actually the chat or the thread about this in, in this uh, pull request on GitHub where somebody tried to more or less sneak in the link to the model weights, which we can see here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very funny. Also like the conversation that happened afterwards um, that people, yeah, hopping onto that looks good to me. And uh, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, many started approving um, this pull request. So yeah, technically now the model weights are open and that, that's also uh, why we can use the model on our local computer. And before we start with setting up the Llama model on our local computer, I want to mention two more things. Uh, one is that the model was published in four different versions, which vary in the amount of parameters each model contains. And not very surprising, the more parameters the model contains, the better results it can achieve on different benchmarks. But what is quite interesting here, we can even see the model with the fewest parameters achieves quite comparable results, sometimes even better than the GBT3 model and um, sometimes slightly worse, but overall very comparable results while having tremendously less parameters than the GPT-3 model. And that's also why we are able to run it on our local computer. And the last thing is, it's a funny note. And this guy was actually even able to run the model on his, like the 7 billion model on his <laughs> Raspberry Pi 4 with a four gigabyte RAM. Uh, apparently it took him 10 seconds for one token, which is <laughs> very slow, but hey, that's definitely an improvement. and. Isn't that crazy that those large language models are even able, I mean, like it's very slow, but they can now run on a Raspberry Pi. Who would have thought that one year ago? Okay, and now let's run the Llama model on our local computer. And for this, we will use the Dalai library. <laughs> I mean, like you can see what's going on here, Dalai Lama. <laughs> I personally like this kind of humor, uh, calling the library Dalai. And to be able to run the Llama model on our local computer, we only need four comments, which is, <laughs> I would call it very handy. It's absolutely impressive how easy it is to use such a huge language model. Now, now like just on our local computer running four comments. Okay, but before we install the Llama model on our computer, first, I want to show you that the Dalai model works on Linux, Mac and Windows, which is perfect. You have the system requirements, unless you have a very old computer, definitely should work on your computer. And one thing that I figured out while installing the Alpaca model just needs four gigabyte, which maybe sounds much to you, but if you compare it to the Llama model, that actually takes up to 
31 gigabyte on your computer. I hope you have so much space. I won't complain, the library is really awesome. Thank you so much for creating it, it's really cool. And yeah, as you can see, the larger model versions of the Llama model are even bigger. So I hope you have some space left on your computer. And another thing, my Node version was too low, so I had to update my Node version to 18 or higher as required in this module. So uh, make sure that you have at least Node version 18. For Windows, there are three different things required. First, make sure that Python, Node.js and C++ are installed on your computer. So one way to do this is to download Visual Studio and check those three boxes. So it will be installed in the background. You can theoretically, I'm pretty sure, also just install Python, Node.js and C++ separately on your computer. That should also do. And then one last step is Linux. Here you should use a Python version that is lower or equal to 3.10 and also make sure that you have a Node version of 18 or higher. And at the time I wanted to run those four comments that I mentioned earlier. As you can see in the background, the API already changed again. Um, actually during the day, the API was already changed and now it changed again. So definitely expect that after the video is published, there might be still changes to the library. And yeah, in, in case the comments you see in this video don't work, definitely make sure to check out the GitHub page because here in this area, you'll find how to install both models using the Dali library which is very convenient for us. So what we will do then is just typing in npx Dalai Lama install and only 7b because the 13b model, we don't need that right now. It's just <laughs> loading the 7b model will already take long enough. All right, and once the installation is done, we can start using our Lama model. And for this, we just type in npx Dalai serve and then our server will be started. So, and then you can just start like, you know, today is a good day because, and let's see what Llama generates for us. Yeah. <laughs> I had this issue earlier today and this is not the expected behavior from the Llama model and I found an issue on GitHub for exactly this one. It was open 17 hours ago. Pretty sure maybe one of the changes has led to this weird production of uh, characters. I will definitely in the comments or description keep you updated on how to fix it. But I'm pretty sure that will be fixed soon because that's not the expected behavior of the Llama model. I wish it would be working now, but maybe by the time you're installing the Llama model on your computer, it's already fixed and you don't encounter any of, of this behavior. And the expected behavior would be though, for example, if we take again, today is a good day because, and then the model would predict something plausible or realistic, which could be, for example, the sun is shining, would be very reasonable assumption why the day is good or maybe because another AI model got predicted. <laughs> yeah, and for now, let's just move on to the alpaca model because I already tested that one and that works on my computer and I definitely want to show you this one. But first, let's talk about why the alpaca model is such a big deal right now and why it's so impressive. And the alpaca model is fine-tuned, is a model fine-tuned on the Llama 7B model. So it's the version with the fewest parameters and it behaves qualitatively similarly to OpenAI's Text Da Vinci 003, which is the GPT 3.5 model. And what's very interesting that the model has qualitatively similar capabilities or results while being small and easy to reproduce because it only cost less than $600. And if we look at this tweet, from Will Summerlin, who's working for AR Car Investment Company. He summarized that in 2020, training a model like GPT-3 cost around $5 million, while in 2030, it's expected to cost around 500. And now we basically traveled seven years in time because the Alpaca model already achieves results close to the Da Vinci uh, 3 model or the ChatGPT 3.5 model. And this is while only costing less than $600, which is the 500 or like around $500 proposed here. Isn't that insane? That basically if 
you or me have a few hundred dollars and we can train a model that is almost as good as ChatGPT model or the GPT 3.5 model. I think that's really a huge achievement. Looking at how they were able to do it, I would still say that this is not entirely wrong because the model got trained in a supervised manner. And for that, they used the GPT-3 model to generate instructions. And I would say you can think of this, the GPT-3 model is a teacher while the alpaca model is a student. And a student gets better and better and better and closer to the level of the teacher. So I would say the GPT-3 model is the upper bound from my understanding for the alpaca model, but it's almost as good. And this also means for companies like OpenAI that theoretically with way less resources, you can create models that are almost as good as theirs using this self-instruct technique. Okay, and now let's run the alpaca model on our local computer. For this, we will type in again, npx, Dali, alpaca and then install 7b and this again will take some time not as long as for the llama model but we still have to download like three to four gigabytes okay and once this is done we can run again npx dali serve and our local server is running and et voila now we can start using the alpaca model in the dali web interface and i thought i would just ask the model a little bit of a Philosophical question, what is the most important innovation made by humans? And let's see what Alpaca answers us to that. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit ironic that the language model answers the most important invention is language itself which allows us to communicate, share ideas, thoughts, emotions. But like it's definitely a valid point. That's very important. Uh, actually, I like the, <laughs> like the answer. Didn't expect that. And one last thing for today's video is I want to show you that Dali also has an API. So in case you have already ideas how to use this, you can use the API to just pass your questions or prompts to the model and get your replies in a interface that looks different than the one we saw earlier. I'm pretty sure many, many of you are already getting creative right now. And let me know in the comments about your ideas and your projects. I'm keen to hear about them. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope it helped you running the alpaca and llama model on your local computer and getting creative with them. If so, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And until then, have a great time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>